hi beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is anava and i make faith related and medical related videos um in today's video i'm going to be doing the zambian tag which i have seen so many times on youtube and i decided to give it a go ahead because i am um, zambian if that is something that you're interested in then please do stick around without wasting any more time let's go straight into the video okay so i have my questions here on my phone and i'm going to be looking down and reading from my phone so question number one what is your full zambian name my full zambian name is kasonde sondashi <laughs> like kasonde sondashi that's my full zambian name i go by the name manava which i have explained in a previous video that it is actually an adopted name it is not my birth name but i adopted it somewhere along the way because of the meaning of the name it's a hebrew name it's from the bible and i adopted it as my second name so it is an adopted name but then my actual zambian full name is kasonde but people that know me in person actually either call me dr sondashi or just kasonde or kasi people who know me my friends call me kasi but yeah that is my full zambian name what tribe are you i am kawonde from solwezi northwestern province my dad is kawonde rather my mom is bemba but yeah um traditionally i am kawonde because you go by your father's tribe right i think you go by your father's tribe so i am kawonde what part of zambia were you born in i was born in chingola at inchanga south general hospital my dad was a metallurgical engineer so he used to work for inchanga at the time when i was born so yeah i was born at inchanga south general hospital in chingola what part of zambia do you live in i currently live on the copper belt what is your favorite zambian food Nshima guys, <laughs> Nshima, <laughs> I don't know, um, one meal that like when I crave it, I really crave it and I can eat is Nshima, carpenter, beans and any vegetable that is sashilad. Like when someone like gives me that meal, like you've made my day, like honestly you've made my day. I really, really love that meal. But then um, I eat Nshima with anything really. Can you speak your native language? um unfortunately no i cannot speak kaonde how many zambian languages can you speak i speak a broken bemba <laughs> anyone who has heard me speaking bemba knows what i mean but i speak a broken bemba and then i speak english <laughs> um what is your favorite zambian song Ooh. okay i think the one that i would say is probably by rachel which is um uh, i said i speak broken bimba please don't hit on my bimba but yeah that song oh i love oh that song like if you're on youtube right now go and search it and just listen to it like that woman is anointed when i listen to that song i'm just like yes like i just get lost in the spirit um, i'm going to put the name on the screen because i know maybe the way i've said it is kind of confusing but i'll put the name on the screen and you guys just go search that song um of course there are other songs that i love i listen to rachel i listen to ephraim um i listen to esther chungu i listen to walia chileshe i listen to so many different zambian gospel artists but i would say that if you have to ask me like right now off the top of my head that would be my number one song and maybe a couple by ephraim what is your favorite zambian movie are there zambian movies if you know zambian movies please comment in the comment section below so i can check them out i don't think i've ever watched a zambian movie in my life but i know there are zambian series i know the zuba that everyone loves although i've never watched it and then there's another popular one i've never watched any of them um i i think i will give them a try eventually i just don't have the time but i will give them a try eventually because everyone talks about them but i haven't watched any zambian movie who is your favorite zambian musician Pompey. <laughs> um, when was the last time you were in Zambia? I am in Zambia right now, like I'm seated in Zambia right now in the Copper Belt province. What is your favorite thing about Zambia? I think the vibes. Like <laughs> Zambia's got such a nice vibe, you guys. I remember like the time when I was living in South Africa. Um, even the time when I was in China, like one thing that I really missed, I couldn't explain it. I just missed the 
the vibe of the country. Like when you're in Zambia, I don't know how to explain it. Like Zambia just has a vibe. If you've ever lived outside of Zambia for like a long time, you'll understand what I mean. Because when you're away from the Zambian vibe, like you can feel it. Like even just when you enter the festive season, like I don't know, Zambia just has a vibe, guys. And I think that's my favorite thing. Like we just have a vibe as a country and it's a good vibe. Like it's a very good vibe. <laughs> what do you hate about Zambia? Um, I hate there are a couple of things that I hate. The first thing I hate is the level of corruption that is in the country. The second thing that I hate is the unwillingness of people to progress, if I could say. And what I mean by that is there are certain beliefs and cultures that I'm not bashing on tradition. Tradition is beautiful and there are some traditional values that we have to uphold as a country. But then there are certain traditional values that were formed um, that do not hold well in today's times there's a certain um cling to the old of zambia like the certain cling like people want to push that into the new generation and they're unwilling to progress or move with the way times are moving they want to like hold on to those choking um cultural things that i believe do not apply today today to today's generation um, of course that is up for argument but then i think like that is something that i really dislike when i see certain things being practiced um deep 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 in places where culture is heavy certain young girls that are going through certain things maybe getting married off at a young age because of certain beliefs that we have like i just i don't like it i really don't like it and that's i think that's something that i really hate about zambia just people believe in ridiculous cultural things um next question what part of zambia would you like to live in I think I'm comfortable where I am. I remember when I got posted, when I got my letter to start working, I was posted to Lusaka and I was like, I don't want to go to Lusaka, change me. Like, I don't want to live in Lusaka. And everyone was, everyone was like, what? You don't want to live in Lusaka? What? But I don't know, like, it's just, it's not for me. I didn't, I didn't want to stay in Lusaka. And even to date, I don't think I'd ever want to live in Lusaka. I'm really, really comfortable where I am. I like Lusaka to travel to and to visit, but I don't want to actually live there. If I'm to choose one place to live in Zambia, I would probably choose Sanfia because I love the town. It's so quiet, it's so peaceful, and it has a beach, it has water. It's just, it's really nice. I enjoyed the time when I went there and I do hope to go there again. I am planning in the future, God see me through, I do want to have a vacation house in Sanfia because I do believe it's one place that I'm going to be going to frequently. Um, I just really, really love the town. So if I had to choose, apart from where I am right now, a place where I could go live, I'll probably choose Sanfia or maybe even Livingston, but not the capital. And the last question, what is the most ridiculous question you have been asked about your country? Majority of the time, the question that I get is, where are you from? I'm from Zambia. Where's that? Like everyone just says, where's that? And then I have to explain like it's in South Central Africa. Um, but ridiculous question. I would say um, maybe when I was in China, someone once said, is it really, really, really hot in Zambia? And I was like, it gets hot, but China is hotter. And he was like, no, that can't be true. I'm like, why don't you believe it can be true? And I was like, because you're darker than me. That means it should be hotter than China. <laughs> and this is a conversation that I was having with someone. Um, he, I don't think he meant it in a racist way. Maybe it was just ignorant racism. I don't know. But for me, in that moment, it was a little bit funny. It was very ignorant, but a little bit funny. I didn't laugh in that moment, of course. But now when I look back, I laugh because it's just it was such a stupid thing to say. But I think that's the most ridiculous question I've ever gotten about Zambia. Whether Zambia is really, really hot because I'm darker than the Chinese person. <laughs> All right, people. So that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can reach out to me or contact me over on my Instagram. My username is anava.xo. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.